Hi everyone, this is HJ, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black version. So as you can see, I'm chilling in the Pokemon Center, got little heels, getting ready to go get some revengeance on Charon, and then we're gonna go take down some boss battle action, so... Make a little switch there, and we are on our way. It's currently Thursday, I recorded this Wednesday night, and around midnight-ish, so... Doing a little post-commentary, since my system doesn't like it when I do it all at once, but it's okay. I'm trying to get the quality better on the video as well, so we'll see what happens when I redo it with uh, Vegas this time. So, overall, I got decently, well, decently well in this fight, and you'll see why in a second. Number one, I have the type advantage from the free Pokemon. Number two, well, I got a critical hit that killed the stay big in one hit. So, I mean, you can't really complain about that at all. And I didn't shorten the battles this time, because I actually only recorded about 12 minutes worth of stuff. So, I felt no point in shortening it, because my YouTube limit is about 15 minutes. So, it made sense to me. So, in typical bad AI fashion, you know, he's doing the, oh, let's try and lower my attack and defense and blah blah blah, and I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, three, three attacks and they were done. No real problems. All is good. And he gives me berries, which ain't a good thing, I haven't really found any yet. And for those of you who are new to the Pokemon world, you can make your Pokemon hold stuff now. And they can use it in battle if it's a usable item. I mean, they won't be able to use a potion, which is man-made, but stuff you find, you can use. And the gym leader's uh, scoping me out, saying, Oh, you picked a, a leaf type first, you know, you should prepare, because uh, we're probably going to use fire against you. And I love how every game has, like, the guy that'll tip you off at the beginning, and I guess this version is Clyde, from what I've seen. At least gives me a fresh water, which is cool, though. And this gym has a basic puzzle, pick the opposite type of, uh, the thing on the, uh, carpet, or not the carpet, the, uh, the hanging stuff, the, not drapes, but, like, curtain, there we go, that's the word I needed, curtain, which is just to make sure you're not completely stupid when it comes to this, which, you know, makes sense. And we've got our obligatory trumps before we face the boss, which is fine. I mean, I'll take the free EXP. I think I'm a little too low level anyway, so... I get a lucky crit on me there, but that's okay. Because as long as we, uh... Don't completely crap out, we'll be okay. My only issue is, like, all the other trainers I've fought so far are pretty much... Except for, you know, your allies, quote-unquote, and the boss battle is... They only have normal-type Pokemon, and I don't really have any good moves that are good against normal-types. I'm just, like, busting out a Vine Whip or Water Gun, because it's gotten more damage than the other moves I have. But, you know, whatever. That's something we'll get to eventually. We're still very early in the game, so it's not like it matters that much, but... So that's why Gleaf gets all the XP, because... What's his face died. So we're gonna answer the puzzle. But not actually walk through. Because it'd be stupid to fight somebody without having a full battle of Pokemon on your side. And you know, the Pokemon that are being right next door also kinda helps a little bit. You know, okay, well, we could fight at a disadvantage, or we could just take 30 seconds and go heal. I mean I could understand if it was like across town or something and it would take a few minutes, I would like do a screen wipe. But like, it's right next door. It's like, oh, yeah, no, don't come get your uh, free heals. You have to walk too far. That's crazy. God forbid I buy an escape rope and use it because I don't want to walk next door, right? You know, whatever. Alright, jump two. I guess we got a, a waitress. Waitress Tia. Hey, look, more normal type Pokemon. Whatever. Someone's probably gonna see this and correct me and go, no, no, no. Uh, what's his face? Is a, a half normal, half something? I'll be like, yeah, well, I didn't know that. Because I don't really know anything about this game. I'm just kind of running through a blind and we're gonna see what happens. Right? So.
Pan Force. Just taking a beating. <laughs> I mean, it's not his fault. He's uh, the front guy. He's just lower level than Swig Leaf, so I mean, he's got to take the beating. But he also needs EXP, so I mean, that's right. You store that energy and die. I swear, you think the AIs would just like plan for this? Maybe. I don't know. Granted, like I said, they've got to be stupid so you can have a chance, but, you know, facing real trainers is where it's at. And even still, Elite Four stuff, I've still seen them make those mistakes, so... I don't know. Sort of blessing, I guess. And I think I do the same thing to Pan for again, but I'm not sure here. I think I let him die. He might bust it. I don't actually remember. I think we edge him out. Let me take a look. He's got a tiny bit left. That's right. And I think we edge him out with a scratch here. Yep. So he actually gets all the eggs in this battle. So it kind of works out. Him and Smugly have got an even split between the two battles. He got them all in the one. And Pampor got them all in the other. And we'll answer the puzzle. And... Oh, that's right. I trigger the cutscene. But I don't actually fight. I thought I was going to have to fight him with low HP, but I didn't have to, so. Um, you see, there's three of us, because we'll assign who you battle. It depends on the first Pokemon you chose, right? So, they're going to be a douchebag. Like, oh, well, your main Pokemon is Smokeleaf. You're going to have to go fight the fire guy, because it's not fair to you. Well, joke's on you. I've got a water type in Pandor, so it don't matter. And free heals. You know, because they're right next door, right? Why the hell not? Might as well take it if they're there. And I, I spaz out and accidentally hit it again, but that's okay. Because when I record on my emulator with my Super Nintendo controller to USB, it doesn't render as quickly as it does on playback. Like, it'll record just fine, and it'll show up when I play it back just fine, but as I'm recording, it, do, it does it at, like, 15 frames per second instead of 30, so sometimes things spaz out, and I'll randomly hit something, or whatever, but lost battle time, he sends out an iron type, like, what the hell, dude? Like, you're supposed to be the fire guy, and, like, it seems like half the trainers in the first town have Lillipup, or that other thing that gets angry all the time. I can't think of its name, but you know what I'm talking about. So... I do have a level disadvantage in that... I think it's 12 to 11, but it's not too bad to the point where... I'm struggling to fight him. And I determine, okay... I'm gonna switch it out to Smugleaf, so what's his face doesn't take abuse the whole time, and I can save him from the guy who's actually fire type. You know, strategic planning. I didn't know he was gonna lead out with his uh, little pup there, so I had to make the switch. And as you can see, Smugleaf dies, so it was better than having Panvor die, in my logic anyway, so. And besides this way too, since Smugleaf died, I had to sacrifice him. Panpour does get all the EXP now, so I mean... It's better, because that way he'll be somewhat close level to Smugleaf. Now, if you've seen my Ogre Battle videos, I've explained the Pokemon theory of leveling stuff. And that you'll have one really strong guy at like 30, and everyone else will be like level 8 or something. But I'm trying to avoid that in this run through. And you die. So, you can kind of see how, uh... Pretty much Panpour and Smugleaf will be level 12 at the end of this fight, both hopefully. And that way, no one's too overpowered, and that way if we progress further in the game, we don't have to worry about if our main starter dies. We don't have to worry about trying to make up for it, so... It's Panseer playing dumb, I busted out with some heals on Panpour like you saw, and Incinerate on me isn't going to do a whole lot. It does a whole six. But Water Gun on him is going to do a whole crap load. It does like a third. And that's good. 
we have to play our types to our advantage. That's the main game of Pokemon. Playing the types. So leather, rinse, repeat. Incinerate does nothing. Water gun should do a whole lot. Now I didn't bust out with berries before the battle. I didn't equip them to my Pokemon, but I should have. Because Mugleaf might have lived, I wouldn't have to pop the potion. The battle can move over quicker. But I won anyway, so it's not a big deal. And he gives us our first badge. The Pokemon Link's Rule. The thing with three jewels on it. I don't know. There's probably a name for it. Let me put it in the badge case. The trio badge. There you go. Blah, blah, blah. Level 20. Blah, blah, blah. TM that I'm never going to use. Work up. It's kind of like Rage, I guess. But... There you go. HJ wins. And we're going to go back and heal up. Pretty, pretty flawless day. Except we get interrupted by Fennel. The uh, person that's friends with the professor. So, we head up to her place. And eventually, blah blah blah. And she gives us HMO1 cut. Which is good because along the way we had found trees that we needed to cut, and if you remembered, when we went to the top right region there, there was a place that was cut that we need to get through. So by her giving us that, and her giving us, or us getting the badge from the trio, we can get through there, and we'll take a look at that next time. So we're going to go back to Pokemon Center, we're going to heal up, and we'll save and quit, so... Pretty decent outing today. We got... Sharon done, we got the gym badge done, we gained a couple levels, all is good, so next time we're going to tackle the tree in the top right. So we'll save, I'll bust out a safe state, and that's it. So, I want to thank you guys for watching, if you liked what you saw, like, rate, subscribe, that'd be awesome, and we'll see you next time, let's play Pokemon Black.